of uh, just going to give you a video that shows you how to just get started uh, with a simple level one program in Bricklayer Lite. So first thing, um, open your browser. Um, if you can use Google Chrome, I recommend it. Um, and then you just want to go to bricklayer.org and make sure when you hit enter there that you actually end up at bricklayer.org. Um, the website just moved to a different server and so um, if you've gone to this site before uh, the, the autofill uh, feature might send you to the old site. Okay, so to get started with um, Bricklayer Lite, we go under Apps, choose Bricklayer Lite, and we come to this page. And so um, before we go any further, I just want to point out that there's quite a bit of information on this page that you should read through and make sure you you understand things here. Uh, it'll it'll give you some um, uh, just some some quick and dirty uh, things to remember. Maybe you get stuck. That's a good place to check to see if you can find the answer. Right now we're going to be doing level one. So here's level one up here at the top. I'm going to click that. And now we're ready to write our program. So remember that um, every program starts with uh, an open level uh, puzzle piece. So we're in level one, so that's the puzzle piece we get. Then we want to build a base plate. So I'm going to pull that out. Um, then um, Let's see. Um, I'm going to need a show command. So I'll just pull that at the end. So, you know, we've got we've got to choose our size here. So let's just choose eight by eight. Um, and then function calls. So uh, I'm just going to do a, a, a simple um, simple little program here so we'll do maybe a four by two red and I'll put that at zero zero and then maybe I'll put a blue um, one right on top of it so I'm going to do another four by two and I'm going to put it right on top of that red one so if I put it on top of the red one uh, hmm what should these coordinates be well, one way you can kind of map out what you're doing before you actually uh, start Bricklayer Lite is, again, I'm going to go back to bricklayer.org, and I'm going to go under Apps, and this time I'm going to look at the grid. And uh, so up here, I can, at the top here, I can change the size of my grid, so I'm going to make it an 8x8, eight eight, just like what I had before. Uh, or what I said in my Bricklayer Lite program. And, you know, already in my Bricklayer Lite program, I have a, I said I was going to put a 4x2 red at 0, 0. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to choose red. And then I'm going to stick that 4x2. Okay. So what we have now in our Bricklayer Lite program will we'll generate that. And then I said I wanted to put a 4x2 blue right on top of it. So if I do that, it looks like this. Okay, so, so I was wondering back in my Bricklayer Light program, where does this 4x2 blue go? And then I can look, and like right here's the lower left corner, and that is at 0, 2. So let's go back over here to our Bricklayer Light, and my 4x2 blue should go to 0, 2. All right, and uh, let's see. Let's go back over here and add something else. How about we put a um, a yellow? I'm going to pick the yellow up here, and um, I'm going to do a a one by two yellow, so it looks like that. And then I'm going to do a, a one by two. Oh, let's pick another color, green. One by two. 
there we go. Um, so where is this yellow? Uh, where's the lower left corner of this yellow brick? Uh, it's at four, zero. So let's go back over here and say I want a yellow one. And I said it was a one by two, because remember that's one wide, two tall. Add that. And where did I want that? I've forgotten. Four, zero. Okay, let's go back. Add it four, zero. All right. And then let's look where my green one is. That's also over four and it's up two. So I want a four by two green, I mean a one by two green at four, two. All right, so let's click on the green and I want a one by two and it needs to be at four, two. All right, so let's, let's call that good. So what our program should generate this picture. Oh, um, always remember you need semicolons. So I'm going to grab that guy, um, put him there, and then I'm going to uh, right click and duplicate. Right click, duplicate. Right click, duplicate. Oh. Sometimes the window gets a little weird. You have to recenter it. Control duplicate. Control duplicate. Those are always those are all right clicks on my. Uh, I'm using a Mac, so I hit the control button and um, click, and I get uh, that menu. All right, so I think this is um, what it should be. So just a reminder, that's what we think we're creating here. And let's run it. So it's, all, it's we've got the open level one, we've got the build 2D, we've got the, the main part of our program, and then we've got the show command. So remember that these purple blocks you're always going to have those. You're always going to have an open level something block, a build to build 2D block, and a show 2D block. All right. To run it, come over here to the run button, and woohoo! It's working. Um, just for kicks uh, up here in the output format, you can say, I want it to be in Lego. And let's run it again, and whoop, now it looks like Lego. So that's kind of a cool thing. Uh, it takes more bandwidth to uh, to render the Lego blocks. Um, so if you don't have a good internet connection, stick with plain. All right. Um, one more thing. Uh, how do you save uh, your program? Um, Let's look at that in the next video.